will kick you off of YouTube, right? But you're allowed to do this, by the way. You're allowed to consume. And you're allowed to spread misinformation, too? I don't even understand. If people were getting booted for spreading things that weren't verified, that's YouTube's policy. Now, did you verify if I eat 10,000 calories a day? No. Did you verify if I'm <laughs> No. Did you verify if I'm crazy? No. No, yeah, he kind of spitting, like, honestly. Like, he's like, it's not misinformation. I'm just eating cheese. Like, he's right. Like, it's, it's crazy when, like, Nikocado in, like, the trolling character can still point out how stupid your argument is. Like, the way that he's kind of reading her to Phil. But, yeah, this is one of the most interesting uh, conservative self-imposed culture wars I've, like, ever seen. Hi, everyone. It's me again. And Squish Gang is present with some new pink Valentine's Day esque members from Walmart. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the most unhinged conservative self imposed culture wars ever, which is Candace Owens versus Nikocado Avocado, and how Nikocado Avocado slayed with facts and logic against his new enemy, Candace Owens, in the Daily Wire. So that's kind of going to be the topic of the video today. But first, links to social media, sources, Amazon, Patreon, and any ways to support the channel, including affiliated links when can be done to all of the makeup on my face, along with anything else I kind of want to pop down there and some brief descriptions of the videos and stuff. Also, a longer form uh, place to suggest content, which is the email down below. I would also like to... Thank my patrons. Sorry, I made that weird look. My boyfriend's watching Seinfeld really loud. Names on screen. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And let's get right into it. Because there's not really going to be parts of the video to this one as much. Because this is just a silly little moment in time. This began seemingly entirely unprompted. As most weird conservative segments are, such as the infamous Tucker Carlson ex m &Ms, uh, feud. Um, so the video is called Gluttonous YouTuber is Literally Dying for Clicks, which was put out January 22nd of 2023. So Candace Owens has a lot of talking points in this, specifically talking about like depression and kind of online culture and things like that. And doing the very typical conservative slippery slope fallacy. And I was talking about this on my research stream because I do research streams of videos once in a while, that if you took a shot every time a conservative did an unrelated slippery slope fallacy to talk about something, you'd die. Well, you now have individuals who are quite literally dying for clicks. You're not going to believe that this is a trend, but there are people that are feeding themselves, right? We talked yesterday about the seven cardinal sins. Well, gluttony is now taking place for clicks. I am talking in particular about people who have become famous by binge eating in front of the cameras. So then Candace Owens starts to talk about Waffler69 and how, which is a TikToker, and how he died of a heart attack. Even though it wasn't necessarily certain if that was from eating bad foods or anything like that, um, and doesn't really necessarily say where she researched that or anything like that. TikTok, there was a star. His name was Taylor Lejeune. He went by the handle Waffler69, who gained internet fame for the exact same thing, eating also sometimes expired foods. And he died of a suspected heart attack last week. But before he died, just so you know, he boasted 1.7 million followers on the platform because the more extreme your behavior, the more followers you will get on TikTok and on YouTube. We award people for committing sins, for committing cardinal sins like gluttony. So there you have it, guys. This is this is the direction in which our nation is headed toward. Anything for a click, anything for a dollar. I actually found out that he passed away from this video, which was really unfortunate because I actually really liked his content. I liked watching him review pickles in particular. She continues with very basic points about bad food and how it means you're going to die if you eat it and how the internet is so disgusting bunch of inflammatory statements to seem interesting and like this video had any purpose besides getting the views up on her channel and then also kind of weirdly relates this to like the seven deadly sins particularly talking about gluttony despite the fact that you, she's in this huge established office which could then be related to greed she's very angry as you can tell by her inflection so that would be again that'd be anger and then she's very prideful in this kind of holier than thou way. So that's another sin. So, you know, it's kind of another hypocrisy of Candace, of Candace Owens, which 
if you were to coin like a queen or king of anything of each of these right wing figureheads, Candace Owens is hypocrisy, especially because all of the major talking points that she has are against her own self interest almost all of the time. The video was five minutes long, where almost an entire minute was just plugging her Daily Wire shit. So it wasn't really anything too interesting, right? Didn't think much of this. I had actually seen a tweet the other day that was like, I'll put it on the screen if I find it, which was just like a screenshot being like, oh my God, I can't believe it's Nick Hikado Avocado versus Candace Owens. And I had to verify if that was real because I couldn't believe that this happened. What do you mean Nick Hikado Avocado against political commentator Candace Owens? Like what world do we live in now? And not like in a conservative way of everything's good to shit in a way of like, this is so funny that I can't even believe it's real. <laughs> um... So then Nick Hato naturally responds in a 45 minute long Wingstop mukbang video, which that sentence, while I can't believe it does exist, makes perfect sense in this context. And it's called reacting, reacting to Candace Owens video about me mukbang. Now, Nick Hato avocado drags her to filth. Like, I can't believe I'm saying that, but Nick Hato like came in swinging. But I also know what a liar it is. And someone that spreads misinformation about Mua. Hi Candace. This person thought it would be cute to grab her camera and her microphone sticks and spread lies on my name, on my dime, on my dime. Listen here, lady. I, I watched the video and I was just PO'd. And I'm gonna respond to you. And we're, we're gonna watch, it's not that long. And we're gonna do it together. So I got a little snack because my blood sugar's going down. Like, Nick Akato just, like, absolutely came out swinging to, like, a level that, like, I've never seen. Like, in the way that he just, like, because usually, like, Nick Akato's, like, like, really silly and really trolly. And he still throws a lot of that in. And it's it's not that different in that way. But he begins to go through all of the bizarre connections that Candace makes. She called me a woman. Mm. Why is a video about me prefaced by women trying to get attention? I'm not. Well, actually, you don't know. Crying for attention. I don't cry for attention. I cry because it helps others see what happens in life because the, the internet's for learning. And crying is crying for likes, not because it actually brings them any relief to cry on social media. It doesn't fix it. I feel a lot better after I cry, so speak for yourself, lady. Any other circumstances, to say the least, right? But it does give them. Starting with the net worth and saying that. She essentially said this from like believing some sort of blog and even people uh, I've seen other YouTubers comment about this before that the net worths you find online are often like wildly inaccurate. Then he brings up the Waffler 69 thing and says, well, how would she know that's necessarily anything to do with eating and that they're not the same creator, which again is another good point and brings in the basic idea of the lack of research of the vegan era that he filmed in a hotel room, which he thought was his house and the food that he eats. <laughs> Candace, you get you, you gotta get some new writers. Because there's so many wrong things about this, I can't even I don't even know where to start. Number one, that's not my first video. Number two, in that video, I'm not disavowing veganism. In this video, I'm eating 5,000 calories of cheese. Because I worked out extra hard by cleaning the staircase, because we had a staircase in that apartment, and I almost tripped. And there's dust bunnies running all over the place. So, lies, lies, lies. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But you're a reporter, G, who's someone that's always going after the mainstream media for not getting their facts straight. I mean, it's just like fumble, 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 fumble. X. That video, of course, he was very youthful. He was spelt. He was small. Look at him. Look at this picture. If you're listening to this, he's just a, a, a rather small person. And by the way, I agree. I was starving in that video. I just recently went on a hike to the grocery store. Three. With this about veganism, I do. It is brings you horrible effects to your health. Yes. To not eat meat. We yes. are designed. Our bodies are designed to consume meat. Yes. What we are not consumed to do is to just consume. What she just say? What we're not consumed to do? Oh, uh, fumble, fumble. What we are not consumed to do is to just consume. Okay. You need to learn how to read. Even I knew, and as you see, I've never made a video about Nikado avocado before like as like a full video or anything, I knew that objectively it was pretty like that that was not 
his first video, like the one where he's talking about veganism. Because if you've watched any video talking about Nikocado before, you've seen that he's made videos like when he lived in Colombia and he was a vegan. He'd do these like avocado mukbangs. He'd make videos with other like vegan YouTubers and stuff. So like if you watched a single video like about Nikocado, even if he had deleted the other videos, maybe I didn't even know I didn't check that that wouldn't have been the first one. Like, that's kind of, like, a pretty, like, basic Nick Cicado avocado fact as someone who's not even, like, that invested in him. Because she also acts like she's so invested and legitimately worried about him. And he speaks to this concept of society and all this stuff. Because the thing that triggers conservatives the most is not being taken seriously in, in any stupid thing that they say. That's why there's so much inflammatory language used. There's so much confidence in the pros. There's so much structuring to the things they say in regards of how silly it is, like if you wanted to copulate with an M&M or not. Then late last year, Mars went further. The company added obese and distinctly frumpy lesbian M&Ms to promote, quote, feminism and body positivity. In other words, explained the Mars Corporation, it's good to be fat, have some more M&Ms. <laughs> That's kind of like her biggest thing. So she'll just try to like conflate things and just hope for the best. It's very strange. And then Nick Cotto mentions that Candace is clout chasing and starts talking about the different view counts and everything. They're believing the lies. You're believing the hell. <laughs> and you're spewing this to your audience of millions of people like it's fact. Like it's fucking true. Anything for a click, anything for a view. And no, it's really funny. Speaking of views, this video she made about me has 150,000 views in four days. Let me tell you the view count of the neighboring videos. 30K, 28K, 90K, 68K, 36K, 45K. Let's go to the prior week. 40K, 50K. 30, you me talk about this has 30K, and I got 150 click K. So... And he ends the video by describing the conservative slippery slope and how in reality what he's doing is just what he wants to do and it's not that deep. And that's the thing I feel like people on the internet don't understand very often is that sometimes things are just not that deep. And he also even gets into talking about how like a lot of clicks doesn't necessarily mean a lot of money and that he's generated revenue from other sources because he's actually pretty frequently demonetized despite the fact that she's like YouTube is boosting these videos and society is saying that he is doing amazing. And it would be one thing if she was just like a reporter saying, this is interesting. There's these people that share their meals with audiences and they make a living out of it. How neat, how cool, how different. But no, she has to make it real dark and real twisted. No, he's eating 10,000 calories a day. Okay, y'all saw me eat. I probably had maybe 1,900, maybe 2,000 at most. Not eat chicken doesn't have many calories. I mean, if I would have finished all the fries, yeah. He's kidding himself, he's committing he lives in a multi-million dollar penthouse. He's making millions of dollars a year. <laughs> As I literally live in a cheap apartment. I mean, I like it. It's fine. It's uh, Except the neighbors. But, I mean, it's like... Again, you think that since, since I have a lot of clicks, that means I'm getting a lot of money. That's not always the case. I know so many YouTubers. God, I wish I could show you or tell... I don't want to put people on this. That's private. People that have told me, con confided in me, or we've shared our... Inter I literally... We'll see other YouTubers. Be like, look at my analytics. Um, that's what I made for the whole year. They're like, what? I thought we were making... Like, they're shocked. Thing which, like, there are so many videos that are critical of Nick Akato. Like, there are very few that I've actually seen that are supportive of him. If anything, it is the opposite, and that people are not uplifting this behavior. And then he calls her triggered, and I called her a snowflake, which I can't help but stand. And then, so I was doing this in my research stream, and I want to read a comment that I saw by somebody, and feel free to make yourself seen in the comments. I just don't put people's names in the videos in case they want to remain uh, with some an anonymity. So they said the following, I'm just going to read off my iPad, it says... Candace, sitting in a professional studio with her office manager fit, getting destroyed by a man surrounded by Wingstop is surreal. <laughs> Which, like, when I'll put it in a couple little clips from my research stream, too, it was absolutely unbelievable. Like, my reactions, I was like, I cannot believe how hard Nick Okada was going in on this person. Like, I thought it was so iconic. And today, he eats in excess of 10,000 calories in front of the camera in videos that are in Since when? I've never, except for, like, 12 or 13 times, eaten 10,000 calories. Did you verify if I'm crazy? No. No, yeah, he kind of spitting, like, honestly. Like, he's like, it's not misinformation. I'm just eating cheese. Like, he's right. Like, it's, it's crazy when, like, Nick Akato in, like, the trolling character can still point out how stupid your argument is. 
like the way that he's kind of reading her to Phil. Um, but yeah, this is one of the most interesting uh, conservative self-imposed culture wars I've like ever seen. Did you verify anything about me? No, you didn't. 10,000 XP is just sitting in front of the camera and one minute. <laughs> That's such a funny comment. Nick, Nick based. This is the first time he's ever been light right in his life. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my god, that's so funny. I was stupid. But I can imagine anyone else being the, on the receiving end of a video like this, and they probably would feel so bad, oh god knows what they would do. Okay, wait. Nick Akato destroys Candace Owens with facts and logic. That's the title. That's the title. That's it. That's incredible. I'm obsessed. That's so good. And Nick Akato brings up all of these very valid points that, like, she doesn't have any interest in anybody except for herself and her own revenue generation, and that's why the video is being made. I hate when people act like they have a, uh, this deeper alter um, ulterior motive for what they're making. Daily Wire is a content factory and a bad one at that. Like, what are you making besides content? You're not doing anything generally, like, helpful. If you actually care, you would probably try to petition something or you'd make more valuable connections or you would make an effort to get into contact with Nikocado Avocado, but you're not. You don't care. You've never cared, so you don't care about anybody except for yourself. That's your whole platform. That's your whole, that's everything that you do. But regardless, Candace responds with one of the dumbest responses I've ever seen in my entire life, if I'm going to be honest, on February 2nd with a video entitled, I truly want Nikocado Avocado to get better. So immediately trying to plead for that higher importance that we were just talking about and showing that she cares about him and he really matters, but that's not what this is about at all. Even then, the video is nine minutes. He, she only talks about Nikocado for like five of them. She said that he's definitely trying to end his own life by eating the way that he is and verifies this by saying it's the truth. It's, it's, I can't even calculate the amount of calories that he has on his plate and he just eats, right? He just eats and eats and eats. And people consume this content. I don't know why. They're watching a man commit suicide slowly. That is the truth. Citation, I made it the fuck up. Like, this is something too I've noticed with people in the Daily Wire specifically, particularly Ben Shapiro, is that they'll say it's the truth as their source, claiming objectivity, but then not saying where that objectivity comes from. Then she calls on the psychology of social media and how trying to do things for clicks. And that is this big phenomenon with social media. That's a thing for news media. It always has been. There's This is literally a an entire book on that. And this is talking about like news media, like on television and newspapers and things like that. So that's not anything new. And social media is not doing anything different with that. And you are a, a figure of like almost a human version of, of a figure of hyperbole. Because everything you do is so exaggerated and can't be logically followed in any way that makes any true sense. So that's kind of what I'm talking about in regards to Candace. She then proceeds to say that she can just look at someone and tell that they're depressed and then starts watching the video and she just does these like smug little laughs and doesn't really say anything else. And it was funny because people in my live chat were saying that you could tell that she's just sweating. And that's how I really felt too. Like you could see almost like this like panic in her face. It was very interesting. This YouTuber actually made, the gluttonous one, made a rebuttal video to me and it is glorious, my friends. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. You're a political commentary channel. What do I have to do with your world? Nada. Is your channel suffering that much? Have you run things out of things to talk about? That you have to talk about me and my life? And I'm not actually, I'm thriving. And you can't say otherwise. And I'm not gluttonous. I barely eat that much. And there's actually not that much here today. And she's not even saying truthful things. Everything under the sun and a bunch of calories for profit, right? How do you know if I have the or not? Do you just look at someone and be like, wow, you, you might eat a lot of food. So therefore you have this, 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 and this. So becoming depressed in front of the world, he's essentially killing himself on camera slowly. I don't even understand. <clears throat> if people were getting booted for spreading things that weren't verified, that's YouTube's policy. Now, did you verify if I eat 10,000 calories a day? No. Did you verify if I have depression? No. Did you verify if I'm crazy? No. <laughs> she said that they verified things, but then proceeds to mention one possibly verified thing and then a bunch of anecdotes. And then 
says it's crazy to eat on camera as an interest and how it's against your self-interest, despite the fact that her entire career is functioning against her own self-interest. Candace Owens is a black woman who is anti-feminism and anti-civil like civil rights movements and anti-woke and anti-anything left-wing and anti-any progression of any kind. Like, Candace Owens is always like a society in the past was better, even though, and it's kind of bleak to say, but if she wanted to go back to the 1950s, that would mean most of her rights are stripped away. It's very bold for someone to be supposedly enacting on the interests of people, despite the fact that fun she functions essentially entirely out of her own self-interest. She said, the people that follow you want you to die. Again, citation where? And then begins to say that social media like this is going to inform policy. W what policy would that possibly be able to inform? Like, you have to eat Wingstop every day on camera for money? Like, what can somebody doing mukbang videos do on a policy level? Like, I would legitimately like to know. Because they say these bold inflammatory statements with no actual, like, way of being able to measure it in any sort of way that makes sense. I don't know how else to explain that. Like, I just don't understand where that would be coming from. And then she tries to platform pro-life propaganda on Nikocado Avocados. As I said uh, in my earlier video, obesity is and has always been the number one killer in this country. And I want you to get the help that you need. So consider me a friend for telling you that, even though we don't speak privately and we just send each other videos back and forth like a little YouTube rap battle. Moving on, you guys, to something that's important for you to know. I, I was very surprised to see this pertaining to George Washington University. College students can now access the morning after pills using a vending machine in the student center. Boy, have times changed. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to love the vending machine. Like, she then bridges into this Plan B machine video, despite the fact that's not mentioned in the title, it's not mentioned anywhere else. And... So then she's she's taking the clout chasing that Nick Cotto said that she was doing, that she claimed that she wasn't doing, to then talk about some sort of weird pro-life agenda on the same video for like half of the video, which I think is actually against YouTube's policy. It was so weird. Like, and she's literally slut shaming the people who made the like some sort of plan B vending machine off of Nick Cotto Avocado's name. And going up to that vending machine, do have we no shame? Have we no shame? Right? I want everybody in this room to know that I had unprotected sex last night and I feel empowered because I'm going to walk up to this machine and I'm going to get plan B one step. And if you don't see how empowered I am for doing that, yeah, whatever. Casual sex, unprotected, my body, my choice. It's disgusting. It is. It's disgusting. These women should be ashamed that this is a part of their record. Like that was such a weird video. What a poor way to respond. So this is just another, you know, I'd say Nick Cotto Avocado took the W on this one. Uh, so that's where I'm going to conclude today's video. In conclusion, Clandice Owens suck, uh, sucks Lamau. Bad person. Yep, obviously. And uh, rare Nick Cotto Avocado W because this was kind of iconic if I do say so myself. Anyway, it's just like a really short, fun video for this week. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys Whenever, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Luca. Bueno. Yeah.